Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. Papa John's has a new pizza out. This one... Some of you will get it, some of you won't. It's, it's a New York thing, as they say. Papa John's has released their new crispy cupironi pizza. This is probably the most authentic New York style pizza I have ever seen in my life, quite frankly. They even got the name right and everything, because for those of you that, that don't know, up in New York, they don't call it pepperoni, they actually call it cupironi. And, uh, alright, I couldn't get that one out with a straight face. But that's what they call it, cupironi pizza. And uh, what it is, though, it is supposed to be like a New York-style pizza from Papa John's. Uh, it is extra large. That's the only size that you could even get it in. It's an extra large, thin and crispy pizza. It has toppings to the edge. It comes with a creamy tomato sauce, cheese. Uh, then it has cupped pepperoni, or as they call it in New York, cupironi. And uh, again, it's supposed to be just a New York style pizza. Crispy, thin crust quite large, and loaded with cheese, sauce, and toppings, again, all the way to the very edge. And then it has pepperoni, but it's the, the cupped pepperoni instead of the regular pepperoni. You can get the extra-large pizza for the price of $14. So, the crispy cupironi pizza from Papa John's, pretty straightforward. You know, there's not really a ton to say about it. There have been instances, and perhaps Papa John's has even done this before, but I know for sure uh, other chains like Pizza Hut, for instance, have done New York-style pizza in the past, and now Papa John's is going ahead with it as well. Right now it is available for the Papa Rewards members, or you could just order online, I think, off their website but uh, quite soon it will be available for general release. So anyway, it is a large pizza, and I will say for the price, you know, for $14, you'll see in a moment that the volume of the pizza, despite it being thin crust, is quite large. Here's the box. You see right there it says Team Pizza. That's a New York thing. Better ingredients, better pizza. And there it is. It is quite large, as you can see. It's uh, about half the size of my face, I would say. And thin crust. You can see, though, cupped pepperoni and lots of it. I don't mind the cupped pepperoni, quite frankly. It could be quite flavorful, could have a nice little crisp to it. I always notice, and maybe it's just me, the cupped pepperoni always has a little bit more, more spice to it sometimes. Comes with the garlic dipping sauce, complimentary, and of course, the blessed pepper. It is a big pizza, though. Let's get a slice. Let's see how it's cut. So you see, they advertise it as having larger slices. If you hear that noise in the background, that's a New York thing. Large triangular slices which you could then fold if you wish, though you are under no formal obligation to. 
and again a thinner crust. But you could see the toppings pretty much go right to the edge. Not much of a crust there. And there you have it. So you know what it looks like. Pretty straightforward again, if you ask me. Uh, it's a Papa John's rendition of New York style pizza. Let's see how it tastes. If it's any good or not. The crispy cupironi pizza from Papa John's, it's going in. All right, so when it comes down to it with these sorts of pizzas, a lot of the time I find it to be similar because as I mentioned before, Papa John's isn't the first establishment that has decided to try uh, their hand at making a New York style pizza. And a lot of the time when I try these sorts of uh, pizzas out, the outcome is similar in that they wind up being pleasant, but and, you know, you would think this is one of those things that doesn't necessarily need to, to be said. I'll say it anyway, though. That, yes, this is fast food pizza. This is fast food takeout pizza. So you shouldn't go into this, whether it's Papa John's, whether it's Pizza Hut, whether it's Domino's or any other establishment. You shouldn't go into this expecting... Oh, yeah, this is going to be exactly like how a local pizzeria up in New York would authentically make pizza. Obviously, you shouldn't go into it thinking that. Because if you do, yeah, you'll be disappointed. You think, okay, it's going to be a thin crust pizza that is like Papa John's. You know, it's, it's fast food pizza. Despite that, though... If you're not to necessarily be picky about authenticity, all in all, it's not a bad pizza. One thing that I will mention right off the bat is the fact that I really do find this to be a good deal financially. I mention that because as I was eating this, and yeah, I know, my, uh, my appetite might not always be the most ravenous in the world, but as I was eating this, you know, I had the one slice, I was picking away at it, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is actually quite filling, all things considered. Because even though it may be a thin crust pizza, the slices are quite large. And there are obviously eight slices here. It's an extra large pizza, though. So this is quite filling for what it is, because I'm taking bite after bite after bite. And even though my bites can be a bit small, I was thinking, wow, I'm not even, you know, halfway done with the slice, and already I'm starting to feel a bit, not quite full, but, you know, satisfied, and I, I was thinking, wow, this is, there's just a good amount of pizza here, and then for $14, you really can't complain. Uh, it is a good amount of food for the value, and I will say, as far as the taste is concerned, it is pleasant as well. It definitely has that firmness to it that I think that they were shooting for as far as like the New York style is concerned uh, in that it is a it is a slice that you can see there's a nice bake on the crust you could hold it quite easily you could fold it and you do get that little bit of like a crispy crunch in every bite texturally from actually two things number one the bake, of course, it's on the bottom and the crust of the pizza, but also from the cupped pepperoni as well. Or as Papa John's says, the cupironi. The uh, cupironis are indeed crispy. So when you're biting into this, you know, it's like the, the cheese, of course, is going to have that softness to it. But you are also met with, again, that little crisp on the edge of the cupironis. And, uh, and then that little bake on the bottom as well. So texturally speaking, I think a lot of people are going to find that to be enjoyable. That there is a crisp crunch to it. Uh, other thing that I notice, there is that little bit of spice to it. As was anticipated, the cupironis do pack a punch as far as the... Uh, <laughs> this is, I just can't take the name seriously. 
As far as the spice aspect is concerned, not that this is a spicy pizza, you know, you're just going to notice that. They are flavorful, though. So the cupironis have a cupironi kick to them, likewise. And uh, another thing, lastly, the creamy tomato sauce. I, I believe that this is a different sauce than what they usually use at Papa John's. I think this tomato sauce has a a little bit of a sweet note to it, if you ask me. Very pleasant overall, quite pleasant. Let me actually just adjust this one thing. Sorry about that. I wanted to make a little tweak to one of the one of the lights here, and it could be a little finicky, so I didn't want to sit here for what could be five minutes messing with it, but I was able to just get it adjusted real quick. Anyway, what I was just saying is that the sauce, and I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure uh, that I was just getting at is that the creamy tomato sauce that they use for this pizza, I'm pretty sure is different than what they use for most of their pizzas, because what I notice here is this tomato sauce has a distinct sweet note to it. It doesn't strike me as like a very bold, robust tomato sauce, but rather it again has this little sweetness to it, uh, which is quite pleasant though. I think it complements the flavor profile of this pizza quite nicely. Yeah, it's a greasy, oily pizza that's to be expected. There's a lot of cheese, there's a lot of cupironi on it, and uh, all of that, but the tomato sauce does offer a nice balance, and again, I do like the sweet aspect that it has to it. Uh, quite pleasant, if you ask me. And again, most of the time when I think of Papa John's, I do not associate that sweeter note to their tomato sauce uh, so again, that, that leads me to believe that this is a particular uh, blend that they are using for this pizza uh, solely. So that's my, uh, my guess in that regard. I also tried it out with the garlic dipping sauce, which is also a nice accompaniment. Not necessary, not essential, but it's going to be there, and it's a nice pairing, all things considered. But in the end, I would say this, this pizza is pleasant. Good amount of it, good price, flavorful. Yeah, it, don't, don't think of authentic New York pizza with this. This is fast food takeout pizza's take on New York pizza, but still decent, all things considered. So therefore, out of 10, I'm fine with it. I'm happy with it. As long as you don't go into this expecting it to be as good as pizza is uh, in, let's say, New York City, I think it's a fine pizza for what it is. So therefore... Out of 10, I'm going to be giving the crispy cupironi pizza from Papa John's an 8 out of 10. It's not the most inventive thing in the world, but is it a good pizza? Most definitely. I also wanted to mention, in addition to these reviews that I do, I also do a radio show twice a week, every week. I'll talk about some current events, whatever is on my mind. I'll balance it out with some listener music requests. I promote it on the YouTube, and uh, I'm sure some of you have seen the promotions, maybe some of you have even listened in. Just know that in order to do the radio show, though, I do need your help. It costs a good deal of money every single month to be able to get on the air and do it, and uh, it needs your help to keep on, keep on keeping on, to survive and to stay on the air. If you enjoy the radio show, you want to help it out, you want to support it, please consider donating patreon.com slash the report of the week that's patreon.com slash the report of the week if you go to the patreon page you can find out more information about the radio show there as well and if you do support the show on the patreon uh, you can access episodes of it on demand anytime thousands of hours of content uh, it just needs your help and if you enjoy listening to it uh, consider that it's up to you in the end you can find information about the Patreon page in the description or the pinned comment. If you'd like to donate via PayPal, you could also help out V-O-R-W-I-N-F-O -O at gmail.com. There's a link to that in the description too, though, so uh, check that out as well. But just wanted to throw that out there, just so you know. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.